Welcome back. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to edit and add your very own channel emotes and subscriber badges to your kick.com channel. Before I get into that content, I just want to remind you guys that I am uploading these kick.com videos. And if you want to be notified when I do these videos, please subscribe to the channel and enable those bell notifications. So let's get right into this. So here I am on the creator dashboard, my kick.com creator dashboard. And as you can see, I am on the emote tab and we are focusing on emotes and subscriber badges. So I have the dimensions pulled up right here. So for emotes, you want to have a square image, PNG or JPEG, that is a max 500 by 500 pixels. Max 500 by 500. They don't have to be 500 by 500 pixels. This is just the maximum. And you can see that by clicking on channel emotes, 500 by 500. For, um, for badges, the subscriber badges, you go to badges, you go to subscriber badges, and you click on base. And for these, 36 by 36, this is specific. It has to be 36 by 36 pixels. So let's just say you have some images that you want to add as your subscriber badges or emotes, but they are not in the right format or size. I will provide you a link in the video description down below with this website. This is a very useful website that I, um, I introduced to people. This is pretty much like a Photoshop, but online. And it's really cool because you can open up these project files, as you can see down below, or you can start off with a new project as well as opening up a PSD template, which I will get into this uh, in a separate video. But for today, we are focusing on our emotes and our subscriber badges. So let's just say we have an image that we want to add as a, let's do an emote first. So for emote, we need a square image. So what I did there is I went and opened up my own image from my PC. I did that by going to file, open, and then this is my own PC directory. I opened up an image. Let's just say I want to open up one like 1000 by 1000. This will show you a better example because this one right here is actually already within the guidelines of the emotes. Remember that for an emote, it needs to be a square maximum 500 by 500. And this image right here that I had opened, oops, is, and you can see this by going to image, canvas size, so this canvas that I have right here is 252 by two, uh, 252. So this does meet the guidelines for the emote. So if I went, you know, this image was already in the correct format for an emote. But for this example right here, this image is canvas, 1000 by 1000 pixels. In order to make this fit the guidelines for our emote, what we have to do is simply change this to 500 by 500 and we hit okay. And then what you wanna do on the background is hit control T. Oops, that's actually the hotkey for Photoshop. But you wanna go to image and uh, it should be free transform, free transform. It's under edit, free transform. So now you will see that we have the uh, outline of our original image, but our canvas box is now 500 by 500. You want to hold the control button. Oops, not the control button. You want to hold the shift button. Free transform. Hold the shift button and then pull the, bo uh, the top right corner and it stays in perspective. And you want to go down to 500 by 500. Actually holding shift didn't work um, for Photopea here, but holding the shift button while doing a free transform in Photoshop is what will keep the size relative. But anyways, what I just did there was I, and what's, what, what's neat is that you could see 
Oh, there we go. So don't hold any button actually in Photopea. So just hold the top right corner and pull it down to where it says 500 by 500 and it should clip right down into your square. So now if you hit enter, you can go back to image and canvas size. And now you have 500 by 500. This is the correct size for an emote. So we can go to file, uh, export as, and we want to export this as a PNG. We want to go to save and we can open this and upload it as an emote. So now we're back on our kick creator dashboard. We can go to channel emotes. We can go to our downloads and there we go. It's not the most perfect picture for this example, but we have resized a 1000 by 1000 image to a 500 by 500. And now you put any name, this will add it to the end of your prefix. And as you see here, we have our new emote. But we can't go and take this same image and add it to our subscriber badges. Um, because if we try to do this, it will tell you that the size is uh, too big or, you know, it's the, the size of the image is too big. Um, the actual size pixels. So what you need to do is change it to a 36 by 36 uh, square. And we're actually going to do a different image this time. We're going to open from computer. We're going to go to a different image that I have. Um, okay, let's see what the canvas size is. 72 by 72. So we need to half this. Thirty-six by thirty-six. Hit OK. Accidentally hit the relative box there. Oops. There you go. Now we go back and do what we did before. Go to trans uh, free transform. Hold the top right corner. Pull it down to 36 by 36. Pull the image back up. Remember to hit the enter button and then file, export, PNG, save, creator dashboard, base. And you can do this with every one of your sub badges from base all the way up to eight years. And this is super super awesome that this is all available to us straight out the gate here on kick and the other thing i just wanted to point out which is really cool about kick is that you do not even need a sub button to have channel emotes this whole list of emotes right here is given to you right when you have your kick uh, channel created so you do not need your sub button to have emotes if you get your sub button you have special emotes for subscribers only but I hope that this tutorial helps you. And if there are any other kick features that you want a tutorial on, make sure to please uh, include that in a comment down below in the video, as well as any questions you have on this video regarding emotes and subscriber badges. My name is Mad, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Remember to keep watching and supporting the channel. I'm trying to hit 4,000 hours of watched content here on YouTube to uh, help get ads and monetized here on YouTube. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.